Yeah, this is Carol from Harmony Healthy Yoga. I've gone outside today as we approach uh, the end of our winter season here in Australia. So wherever you are, I hope you're having a wonderful day and uh, enjoy this video. Uh, this video will be a yoga dynamic flow. Um, ensure that you ensure that your practice remains within the progress in a comfortable rate. And if you do enjoy the video, continue to subscribe to my channel. It really helps my business as well as um, give it a like. Let's get started. Come onto your mat. To a seated position initially, either Sukhasana, easy cross-legged pose or Padmasana, half lotus. Relax the knees, extend the spine. Place the wrist gently onto the knees and come into Gandha Mudra. Connect your thumb and index finger lightly touching. Now just gently rock forwards and backwards. Allow your body to ground and balance towards the earth. And slowly find your stillness. And feel the spine balance in between the hips. And feel the softness of the breath gently moving in through your body and out through your body. Gently drawing the breath in through the nose and out through the nose. As you inhale, feel a crown of the head lifting high towards the ceiling or the sky. And as you exhale, feel the base of the spine drawing towards the earth. Deep breath in. A long cleansing breath out. Deep inhalation. and a long exhalation. Feel your body expand as you inhale. And relax and soften as you exhale. Deep breath in. And a long cleansing breath out. Gently draw the arms out to the side, palms facing up towards the sky. Inhale, circle your arms up overhead, draw your hands into prayer. Exhale, lower your hands down to heart centre. Take a moment here to gently scan your body, identifying any areas of tightness or tension. And throughout your practice, draw the breath into those areas to aid in the release and rejuvenation. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Inhale, raise your arms high towards the sky. Exhale, extend the arms out wide to the side. Inhale, round the spine, arms forward, back of the palms together. Exhale, rotate your wrist, draw your hands back to prayer. Inhale, raise your arms high towards the sky, stretch up. Exhale, extend the arms out wide to the side. Inhale, round the spine, arms forward, back of the palms together. Exhale, rotate your wrist, draw your hands back to prayer. Three more. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, extend down. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, return to your heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, out. Inhale, forward. Exhale, return to your heart. Last one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, expand down. 
Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, return to your heart. Gently open the eyelids, interlace the fingers, draw the hands behind the head. As you inhale, lift the sternum up, elbows wide, look up towards the sky. Exhale, round your spine, tuck the chin, draw the elbows together. Moving with a breath, inhale, lift the sternum up, elbows wide, look up towards the sky. Exhale, round your spine, tuck the chin, draw the elbows together. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, draw the torso back to center, extend the crown high. Exhale, draw your right elbow towards the ground. Keep the left elbow in line with the right. Inhale, draw your torso back to center. Exhale, draw your left elbow towards the ground. Keep the chest open. Inhale, return to center. Exhale, gently draw your right elbow towards the ground, left elbow up. Inhale, draw your torso back to center. Exhale, draw your left elbow towards the ground, lift the right elbow high. Inhale, return to center. Return to tabletop. So we're going to practice our cat and cow. So gently draw the hands around, draw the fingertips towards your body, wrist drawing towards the front of the mat. Stretch the fingers wide, hand shoulder width apart, feet hip distance apart. Moving slowly with the breath, keep pressing heavy onto the palms of the hands. Inhale, draw the belly down, heart comes through, look up towards the sky, sit bones high. Exhale, cat, rounding the spine, tuck in the tailbone and draw the chest and chin under. Moving slowly, inhale, belly down towards the earth, heart comes through, shoulders away from the ears, look up towards the sky. Exhale, cat, round the spine, tuck in the tailbone and draw the chest and chin under. Two more, inhale. Feel each vertebrae moving in unison with the breath. Exhale, cat, round the spine, tuck in the tailbone and draw the chest and chin under. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Return to neutral spine. Draw the hands forward, fingertips towards the front of the mat, thumb facing towards each other, index finger towards the front of the mat, little pinky to the edge of the mat. Moving into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, send the sit bones high, chest towards your thighs. So this is your first downward facing dog for your practice. So bend the knees one at a time, releasing the heels back towards the back of the mat. Keep pressing all five knuckles in each hand heavy onto the ground. Shoulders away from the ears, keep looking towards your big toes. Inhale, raise both heels high, come up high onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, release the heels back towards the back of the mat. Inhale, raise both heels high. Exhale, release the heels back towards the back of the mat. Last one, inhale, lift up. Exhale, release down. Gently lower your knees down the tabletop. Thread the needle right side. We're going to do a float. So inhale, raise your right arm high, open up the chest. Exhale, thread your right arm underneath your torso, lowering the right shoulder and right cheek down onto the ground. Inhale, raise your right arm high, open up the chest. Exhale, around your thoracic spine, right shoulder, right cheek down onto the ground. Two more, inhale. Use the breath. Exhale, round your thoracic spine, right shoulder, right cheek down onto the ground. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, raise your right arm high, open up the chest. Exhale, release your right hand to join your left. Downward facing dog, inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, send the sit bones high. Now walk your hands toward your feet, bend the knees generously, coming into yogi dangle. Just allow the spine to hang here. Tuck the chin, take hold of the opposite elbows. Feel the body extending, relax the shoulders. Now slowly rock side to side. Keep grounding the feet. The feet are slightly pigeon toed. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Slowly release your fingertips down onto the ground. Walk your hands back towards the front of the mat. Return to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift both heels high. Exhale, release the heels back towards the back of the mat. Lengthen the arms, shoulders away from the ears. Look towards your big toes. Maintain this position for two breaths. Deep breath in. Long breath out. 
Last one, inhale. And exhale. Lowering your knees down to tabletop, moving into thread the needle left side. Moving with your breath, inhale, raise your left arm high. Open up the chest, exhale, round your thoracic spine, left shoulder and left cheek down onto the ground. Inhale, unthread your left arm, raise the left arm high towards the sky. Exhale, round your spine, left shoulder, left cheek down onto the ground. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, unthread your left arm, raise the left arm high towards the sky. Exhale, release to tabletop. Downward facing dog, inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, send the sit bones high. Coming into a standing position, inhale, raise both heels high. Bend the knees, chest towards your thighs, look up in between the hands. Walk or step both feet forward in between the hands. Toes together, heels slightly apart, ground your feet. Inhale, halfway lift, hands onto your shins, lengthen your legs, look down onto the ground, spine is long. Standing forward fold, Uttanasana, bend the knees initially, chest toward your thighs, palms flat beside the feet, tuck the chin. Now just maintain this position and take three deep breaths here. Just feel the spine lengthening and gently extend the legs long. Keep drawing the chin toward your chest. Two more breaths. Last one. Upward mountain pose, ground your feet, inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, draw your hands into prayer, look towards your thumb, that's your dristi. Exhale, lower your hands down to summer's TT. Now raise both arms overhead, interlace the fingers, draw the palms up towards the sky. Now you may like to come to a feet hip distance apart or feet together, whatever feels right for you. So I'll just turn to the front of the camera. So stretch the both arms high, inhale, lengthen, exhale, draw your body to the right. See, so grounding the feet, shoulders away from the ears, inhale, lengthen your body, exhale, draw your body to the right. Two more breaths. Last one. Inhale, gently draw your torso back to centre. Exhale, draw your body to the left. So keep extending the arms long beside the ears and as you exhale, gently draw your body to the left. Two more breaths. Last one. Inhale, gently draw your torso back to centre. Exhale, release to Summer's DT. Hands in prayer position. Toes together, heels slightly apart. Look forward at one point in front of you. Focus on the breath. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Upward mountain pose. Udva Tadasana. Inhale, circle your arms up overhead. Draw your hands into prayer. Standing forward, fold, hinge forward from the hips. Bend the knees, chest toward your thighs. Palms flat beside the feet. Tuck the chin. Lengthen the legs if that's comfortable for you. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips onto your shins or fingertips down onto the ground. The legs are lengthened and long, spine is extended. Exhale, bend both knees, plant both palms flat, step your left foot back, high lunge. One breath, raise your arms up towards the sky. So left leg is strong, right thigh is parallel to the ground. Tuck the pelvis, shoulders away from the ears, extend the arms high. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Last one, inhale and exhale. Inhale, lengthen your arms, exhale, draw your arms into cactus shape. Option one, stay here. Option two, fingertips up towards the sky, exhale, draw your body back, lift the chest up. Breathe, I'm not gonna look up because I'm gonna get the sun in my eyes, inhale. Allow that legs to remain strong, exhale, draw your body back. Last breath. Inhale, gently draw your torso back to centre. Exhale, draw your body to the right, extend the arms parallel to the ground. Keep looking towards your right fingertips if you find you've got your balance. 
Stretch the arms long, lower the hips down. Two breaths here, deep breath in. Long breath out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, extend the arms long. Exhale, right hand on left hip. Raise your left arm up beside the left ear. Look towards your right shoulder. Keep bending into the front knee. Make sure the front knee stays directly over your ankle. Keep breathing, deep breath in. Long breath out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, with me, your hands down beside your front foot. Step back into plank position. Right foot comes back to join your left. Ankle, hips and shoulders all one line. Inhale, lengthen your body. Gently draw the shoulders past the wrist. And as you exhale, option one, lower your knees down, bend the elbows 90 degrees. Lower your chest down in between the hands. Inhale, upward facing dog. Shoulders away from the ears, thighs down. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the sit bones high, downward facing dog. Take two deep breaths here, deep breath in. Long breath out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Three legged dog, left side. Inhale, raise your left leg high. Exhale, round your spine. Draw the left foot beside the left hand. Ground that left foot. One breath, raise your arms up towards the sky. Right leg is strong, left knee is bent, left thigh parallel to the ground. Look forward. Shoulders away from the ears, extend the arms long. Use your fingertips. Two breaths here, deep breath in. Long breath out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, extend the arms long. Exhale, draw your arms into cactus shape. Option one, stay here. Option two, inhale. Exhale, gently draw your body back. Open up the chest. Inhale, keep the shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Exhale, draw your chest up towards the sky. Last breath. Inhale, gently draw your torso back to center. Exhale, turn your body to the left, extend the arms parallel to the ground. Look towards your left fingertips. Keep dropping the hips down, bend into that front knee. Left thigh is parallel to the ground, right leg is strong. Two more breaths. Last one. Inhale, windmill your hands down beside your front foot. Step your right foot forward to join your left. Toes together, heels slightly apart. Halfway lift. Inhale, hands onto your shins or fingertips down onto the ground. Legs are extended, spine is long. Exhale, Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Hinge from the hips, chest toward your thighs. Tuck the chin, palms flat beside the feet. Upward mountain pose, ground your feet. Inhale, come to a standing position. Sweep your arms up overhead, hands in prayer. Exhale, lower your hands down to Summer's DT. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Utkatasana, inhale. Bend your knees, hips down towards the ground. Sweep your arms up beside the ears. Now check your knees. Make sure you can see the tops of the toes. Shoulders away from the ears. Tuck the pelvis. Two deep breaths here. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, extend the fingertips. Exhale, draw your hands into prayer towards the center of the chest. Inhale, lift the crown, keep the hips level. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. So moving with the breath as you inhale, exhale, turn your body to the right, draw the prayer towards the center of the chest. Keep squeezing the knees and ankles together. Inhale, exhale, draw your body further to the right. Two more breaths. Last one. Return to Utkatasana. Inhale, sweep your arms up beside the ears. Stay with me. Exhale, draw your hands into prayer towards the center of the chest. Inhale, lift the crown forward. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Moving with the breath as you inhale, 
exhale, turn your body to the left. Use the leverage of the right elbow. Inhale, relax the shoulders. Exhale, draw your body further to the left. Two more breaths. Keep smiling. Last one. Return to Utkatasana. Inhale, sweep your arms up beside the ears. Standing forward, fold. Hinge forward. Chest towards your thighs, lengthen the legs. Tuck the chin, palms beside the feet. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands on your shins or fingertips down onto the ground. Legs are lengthened along, look down onto the ground. Bend the knees, plant both palms flat. Step your right foot back. Lower your right knee down onto the ground. Toe heel, toe heel, your left foot to the edge of your mat. Now lizard pose. So keep the left knee close to the body, hand shoulder width apart. If you're not feeling in that right hip flexor, tuck that right toe, draw that right knee further back. Now relax into the posture. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Deep inhalation. Avoid locking the elbows. Long exhalation. Two more. Last one. If this is enough for you, stay here. Say, Carol, I can't go any further. That's okay. Come down onto your forearms or use your blocks. Interlace the fingers, keep that left knee close to the body, relax that right hip flexor. Breathe, deep breath in. Long breath out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Slow, place your palms back onto your mat, shoulder width apart. Now, tuck that right toe, draw that right knee further in. Palms, shoulder width apart. Now bend into that right knee, reach back with your left hand, draw that right heel towards the right hip. Whew. Draw the body forward if you want to feel a deeper stretch in that quad. Breathe. Deep breath in, long breath out, two more, last one, slowly releasing that right shin down onto the ground and toe heel toe heel your left foot to the other side of the mat. Now place the palm shoulder width apart, low that left shin down. So that left shin is parallel to the front edge of the mat. Reach your right leg back, low the hips down, coming into pigeon pose. So just allow the body to slowly release, keep flexing that left foot to protect the knee. Quite welcome to use your props. So if you need a modification, place the block underneath your left hip. Now lift the upper body up. Breathe, relax that left hip down towards the ground. Deep breath in, use your glutes, long breath out. Two more breaths. Last one. And the ants are all over me now. Don't you love working in nature? Slowly release down onto your forearms, interlace the fingers. Again, close the eyes. Allow your body just to relax into the posture, surrender, and focus on drawing the breath into that left hip. Deep breath in, long breath out. Deep inhalation, long exhalation. Last one. and slowly lift the upper body up, hand shoulder width apart, lean onto that left hip, draw that right leg up and over. And place the right ankle on top of the left. Now, if that's too strong for you, you're quite welcome to lengthen the left leg, flex that right foot, draw that right knee down towards the ground. So this is called fire log. So the idea is to ensure that the shins remain parallel, flex the feet, lift the torso up. Now you keep drawing that right hip down towards the ground. You're going to feel a deeper stretch in the right hip now. Lengthen the spine, inhale, crown is long. Exhale, if your body is open, slowly walk your hands forward. 
Lower the forearms down onto the ground, tuck the chin. And just enjoy. Breathe, deep breath in. Long breath out. So you avoid any heightened discomfort or pain. You just want to feel a balance of the release, this gentle stretch through the hips. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Slowly raise your torso up, hand shoulder width apart. Now, lift your right shin. Now I'm gonna change position so you can see what I'm doing. So lengthen your left leg, right shin is drawn towards your chest. So take hold of the outside of the right foot, right hand underneath the right thigh. And sit tall, inhale, flex that right foot, exhale, shin towards your chest. So the right knee comes out to the side. If you're quite flexible, you may like to place the sole of the right foot in the crease of your left elbow and take hold of the shin. Keep drawing the shin towards your chest. Breathe. Last one. Option one, stay here. This is enough for you. Option two, release. Place the right knee over your right shoulder. So this just takes practice. So give it a go and then place the right hand on the outside, just in line with the right hip. Now, option one, stay here. Option two, inhale, exhale, extend the right leg. Open up the chest, look underneath your right, look underneath your left armpit. And breathe, flex the feet. Deep breath in, long breath out, two more, last one, and slowly releasing, bending that right knee, and bend both knees, cross the ankles, and you're using the edge of the feet placing it down onto the ground. Draw the knees towards your chest, then palms flat, roll forward, lift the hips up, and move back to downward facing dog. Feet hip distance apart, chest towards your thighs. Stretch the spine long. Keep drawing the heels back towards the back of the mat. Check your alignment, make sure the feet are hip distance apart. Shoulders away from the ears. Two more breaths. Last one. Coming into lizard pose, right side, three-legged dog. Inhale, raise your right leg high. Exhale, bend your right knee, lower the right foot beside the right hand. Lower your left knee down. Now, toe heel, toe heel, your right foot to the edge of the mat. Hand shoulder width apart. Make sure you're stretching your fingers wide. This is your foundation. Right knee is close to the body, relax here if this is enough for you. Option two, tuck that left toe, draw that left knee further back, relax that left hip flexor. Avoid locking the elbows, relax here, ground that right foot down towards the earth. Take deep breaths here, deep breath in. Long breath out. Deep inhalation. Long exhalation. Last one. And slowly releasing down onto your forearms or use your blocks or stay where you are. Whatever is your body requires, listen to your body. And just release into the posture and breathe. Continue to maintain a long, slow, deep breath. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Two more. Last one. And slowly raise your torso up, hand shoulder width apart. 
Now tuck that left toe, draw that left knee further in, just to give yourself some balance. Now bend your left knee, reach back with your right hand, take hold of your foot. Now you may like to use a strap, so take hold of the strap, place the strap around your foot and slowly bend that left heel towards the left hip. If you want to feel a deeper stretch, draw the body forward and feel the stretch through the left quadricep. Relax the shoulders, ground that right foot and breathe. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Last one, inhale and exhale. Slowly releasing your left foot and coming into pigeon pose on the right side. So toe heel, toe heel, your right foot to the opposite side. Hand shoulder width apart and then slowly release that right shin down onto the ground. So if that's too challenging, gently draw that right heel towards that left hip. You're going to feel a deeper stretch by ensuring the shin is parallel to the front edge of your mat. Slowly lengthen your left leg long. Now lift the upper body up, hand shoulder width apart, fingertips down, whatever feels right for your practice. And breathe, deep breath in. Long breath out. Focusing on drawing that right hip back, left hip forward. And don't just hang out in the posture, make sure you're still working. So you want to ensure the hips remain level, the glutes are working, and the hip joint is slowly releasing. Two more breaths. Last one. and slowly releasing down onto your forearms, interlacing the fingers, or alternatively, you're welcome to lengthen both arms long, lower your chest over your shins, and head comes down in between the arms. But I'm just gonna chill out here. <laughs> Breathe, deep breath in. Long breath out. Last one. And slowly place your hand shoulder width apart, lift your upper body up. Now lean onto that right hip, draw that left leg up and over, place the left ankle on top of the right thigh. So again, focusing on drawing the shins parallel to each other, flexing the feet. So you've got this sort of fire log happening with the shins. Stretch the spine long, fingertips down onto the ground. So if this is enough for you, stay here. Remember a modification, if it's too strong, lengthen your leg, left shin, left ankle on top of the right. So just allow your body to progress at its natural state. Now, if you feel your body opening, inhale, extend the crown spineless long. And as you exhale, slowly walk your hands forward, lowering the chest down in between the arms. Tuck the chin, flex the feet, and focus on drawing the breath into that hip area. Relax the shoulders, deep breath in. Long cleansing breath out. Two more. Last one. And slowly raise your torso up and draw that left shin forward. So the left shin is lifted up by placing your right hand on the outside of that left foot right hand, left hand underneath your left thigh. Sit tall, flex that left foot. Inhale, draw the left knee out to the side of the body and as you exhale, draw the shin towards your chest. So make sure you're not feeling any discomfort or pain. You wanna feel this stretch through that left hip area. Take two deep breaths here, deep breath in. Long breath out. Two more. Last one. 
and slowly place the sole of the left foot in the crease of your right elbow if that's available to you. Place the left knee in the crease of the left elbow. Take hold of your shin, flex that left foot, inhale, sit tall, exhale, keep drawing the shin towards your chest. Breathe, deep breath in. Long breath out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Now slowly just rock side to side, feel that hip slowly releasing. Last breath. Now you're quite welcome to stay here. If you would like to go a little further, place the right knee over your right shoulder. So draw the, sorry, I beg your pardon, your left, because I'm mirroring you. So left hand on the outside, left shoulder underneath your left knee. Now option one, stay here. Keep flexing that left foot, right toes up towards the sky or ceiling. Inhale, exhale, now straighten the left leg. Look underneath your right armpit and keep flexing that left foot. Feel the stretch from the Achilles all the way through to the left hip. Breathe. Last breath. Slowly bend that left knee and extend both legs long. Baddha Konasana, draw the soles of the feet together and gently draw the knees wide. So you may like to take a long butterfly, that's one position I prefer because it just is more comfortable for me. But measure it by two palm distance. Place the right palm on the outside of the right thigh, flat onto the ground. Thread your left arm underneath your right leg, take hold of the right kneecap. Now turn your body to the right thigh. Inhale, extend the spine, close the eyes, and as you exhale, tuck the chin round the spine, forehead towards your right kneecap. So relax the shoulders, allow the knees to draw towards the ground. Inhale, find stillness. Exhale, forehead towards your right kneecap. And just breathe. If this is as far as you go, stay here. But if you feel your body slowly opening, move with the exhalation. Last breath. Inhale, slowly draw your torso back to center. Extend the spine, hands onto your shins, lift the crown high. Exhale, left side, left hand on the outside of the left thigh. Thread your right arm underneath your left leg. Take hold of your left kneecap. Now turn your torso to the left thigh. Relax the knees, inhale, expand the crown high towards the sky. Close the eyes and as you exhale, tuck the chin around the spine, forehead towards your left kneecap. Inhale, find stillness. Exhale, forehead towards your left kneecap. Two more breaths. Last one. and slowly raise your torso up, place your hands underneath your knees, draw the knees together. Now come to boat pose Navasana, fingertips down beside your body, extend the legs long or bend the knees, shins parallel to the ground. So whatever is your practice, stretch the arms long, engage the core, chest is forward. Stay here for five, four, Three, stay with me. Two, keep breathing, don't hold the breath. Last one. Bend the knees, lower your feet flat onto the floor, palms behind you, fingertips towards the ground. Come into a reverse table. Inhale, lift the hips up, look forward. If you've got no neck problems, slowly release the head down behind you. Keep lifting your hips high. Ground the feet and the palms. Two breaths here, deep breath in, long breath out, last one, and slowly releasing one more round of Navasana or bow pose, chest is up, shins parallel to the ground, extend the legs long, stretch the arms forward for five, four, Three, 
two. Last one. And slowly bend your knees, lower your feet flat onto the ground, hands behind your fingertips toward your body. Inhale, lift the hips high. Slowly release the head down behind you if you've got no neck problems. And breathe. Last breath. And slowly releasing the hips down onto the ground. Draw both legs forward. Toes up towards the sky. Inhale, raise both arms high. And exhale, keep stretching the fingertips and arms beside the ears. So hinge forward, hinge forward. Now if this is as far as you go, stay here. If you've got really tight hamstrings, bend the knees, chest onto your thighs, take hold of the soles of the feet and then slowly draw the heels forward. But keep the chest onto your thighs. That just protects the lower back. And if you're a regular practitioner, draw the chest down towards the thighs. Tuck the chin, shoulders away from the ears, toes remain up towards the sky or ceiling. Breathe, Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Two more. Last one. Inhale, raise your torso up, extend the arms high. Exhale, release down. Coming into Machi Asana. So bend your right knee, cross your right foot over your left. Flex that left foot. Right hand becomes behind you. Now lean your body back. Inhale, raise your left arm high. Exhale, turn your body. Left elbow over your right knee. Fingertips up towards the sky. Sit tall. Inhale, plant that palm flat onto the ground behind your sacrum. And as you exhale, turn your body to the right. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, turn your body to the right. Two more breaths. Look towards your right shoulder if you've got no neck problems. Last breath. Inhale, gently look forward. Exhale, release. Extend your right leg long to join your left. Machiasana, left side. Bend your left knee and cross your left foot over your right. Flex that right foot. Left hand comes behind you, flat onto the ground, behind your sacrum. Fingertips towards the back of the mat. Inhale, raise your right arm high. Exhale, turn your body, lean back, then place the right elbow over your left knee. Fingertips up towards the ceiling, sky or ceiling. Inhale, lengthen the crown. Exhale, turn your body to the left. Inhale, extend the spine. Ground that left palm, exhale, turn your body to the left. Two more breaths. Last one. Inhale, look forward, exhale, release. Extend both legs long. Now come to a lying position. You may like to just lie back down, or if you want to use your core, extend the arms long. Crown up towards the sky, flex that toes. Inhale, extend, exhale, round your spine. Keep drawing the arms forward. Plant the heels down off the ground for five. Rolling down one vertebra at the time. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Lower your spine flat onto the ground. Bend your right knee toward your chest. Interlace the fingers. As you inhale, gently draw your right knee. Give it a hug. And as you exhale, roll over to the left side. Right knee comes down onto the ground. Stack your hips and shoulders. Inhale, raise your right arm high. Exhale, draw the right arm directly out to the side of the body. And feel this lovely release through the lumbar. Close the eyes. And ensure the next five breaths are the longest, deepest breaths you've conducted through your practice. Deep breath in, long breath out. Deep inhalation, long exhalation. 
Feel the lower belly expanding. And allow your body to soften, to relax. Two more breaths. Last one. Inhale, slowly roll over, flat onto your back. Give your right knee a gentle hug. Next, exhale, extend your right leg, bend your left knee towards your chest. Inhale, give your left knee a gentle hug. And as you exhale, roll over to the right side. Left knee comes down, down stack your hips and shoulders. Raise your left arm high, inhale. Exhale, release the left arm directly at the side of the body. And your arm, and sh so perhaps your hand or your shoulders may, should not reach the ground. That's okay. You may like to use blocks just to give your arm a little bit of support. But just allow this breath to expand within your body, creating space, naturally stimulating all the internal organs that lie within your body. Two more breaths. Last one. Inhale, slowly roll up. Give your left knee a gentle hug and move into happy baby. Knees wide, soles of the feet towards the ceiling or the sky. Take hold of your ankles or the soles of the feet. Use all ten fingers, including your thumb. Knees wide, inhale, use your the muscles, exhale, pull on the soles of the feet, draw the knees towards the ground. Throwing the lower back down towards the ground. Inhale, find stillness. Exhale, pull on the soles of the feet, knees towards the ground. More breaths. Relax the tension now, rock side. Feeling the gentle movement through the spine. Last breath. Move into Savasana. Stretch both legs long, feet as wide as your mat. Arms stretched out wide, palms up towards the sky. Relax the shoulders. I'm getting bitten by some lovely insects here. And allow your feet to gently roll out to the side. and allow your body to find stillness. And feel your body slowly sinking down towards the earth. And feel all the sensations generated within your practice. All the vibrations, the tingling feelings. And feel the softness, free flowing breath moving gently in through your body and out through your body. Just allow yourself to completely surrender to the feelings generated. As peace and harmony begins to grow and spread throughout your entire body. And ensuring your body absorbs all the benefits from your practice. And with each exhalation, your body cleanses, purifies, removing all elements that do not serve you within.
as you give this gift of time to yourself. As you enjoy the magical, blissful feeling, the wonderful feeling of Savasana. You're welcome to remain in Savasana for as little or as long as you feel comfortable. But when releasing from Savasana, moving with the breath, you gently bend both knees, roll over, shift to the positive right side of the body. Allow your body to find stillness, it's critical for your practice. Ensure you take two long deep breaths. your arm as a pillow and just allow your body to recover to reset take long slow deep breaths last one try and keep your eyelids gently closed press down onto your palms raise your body up Come to a comfortable seated position, either in Sukhasana, easy cross-legged pose or Padmasana, whatever feels comfortable for your practice. But ensure you sit tall, the spine is long and lengthened. Wrist gently place onto the knees. Come into Prana Mudra, connect your ring and thumb tip lightly touching. Relax the shoulders. Jaw is parallel to the ground and the chin is slightly tucked. Take a deep breath in and long breath out. As you inhale, feel the crown of the head lifting high towards the sky or the ceiling. And as you exhale, feel the base of the spine drawing towards your earth. Take a deep breath in. Open up the mouth wide, exhale out. Deep breath in. Open up the mouth wide, exhale out. One more, inhale. Let it go. Gently draw the arms out to the side, palms facing up towards the sky. Inhale, circle your arms up overhead, draw your hands into prayer. Exhale, draw this positive energy down to your heart center. As we take a moment here to give thanks and gratitude for the energy that we've shared virtually through this practice. And give thanks and wonder to the marvelous ability of what our bodies are capable of doing. And the gift of time, this valuable commodity, investing towards your health and wellness through the dedicated and consistent practice of the art of yoga. Gently draw your hands to your third eye, generating kind thoughts for both yourself and to others. Hands to your lips, delivering kind words to both yourself and to others. Hands to the heart, delivering kind actions to both yourself and to others. May the rest of your day and week be filled with love, light, happiness and health. Namaste.